Now, are you vegetarian or non-vegetarian? Now, we know that people who generally eat meat are called non-vegetarians and people who don't eat meat, who eat only vegetables, etc., they call vegetarians, right? Now, similarly, animals are also classified this way. The animals that eat non-rich food, uh, basically other animals, are called carnivores. Now, they're the ones with the sharp teeth and the claws, ready to pounce and tear its food to pieces. Like lions, tigers, cheetahs, owls, eagles, wolves, alligators. You get the idea, right? The scary ones. Now, the vegetarians amongst the animals are called herbivores. They exclusively eat food obtained from plants like leaves, fruits and vegetables. Now, these animals have flat teeth good for mashing up plant material into a pulp. Now, herbivorous animals include elephants, horses, monkeys, giraffes, zebras, basically the peaceful ones. Now I'm sure you're wondering, what about humans? Humans are animals too, right? But we eat both herbivore food and carnivore food. So what does that make us? Well, there's another type of animal that eats both veg and non-veg food called the omnivore. Bears, crows, cats, dogs, they're all omnivores. Uh, try to think and see if we can name a few more omnivores. Now, most birds are omnivores as well. They have sharp beaks and claws to grip and tear at their food, whether it's meat-eating birds or seed and fruit-eating birds. There are also parasites that feed off other living organisms. Now, they just attach themselves onto another animal and suck nutrition from them. Can you believe these things? They just come and attach themselves onto a good, hard-working animal and just make them weak by stealing their food. Now, mosquitoes and leeches that suck your blood are good examples of this. There's also the roundworms and tapeworms that live inside your body and steal your nutrients. And then of course, there are the scavengers like vultures, coyotes and hyenas that eat other dead and decaying animal or plant stuff. They usually eat the remains of already hunted animals or any dead animals around the area. But when we talk about single cell animals like amoeba, that's a completely different story. It does not have a mouth, so how does it eat? All animals need to eat, right? They need the energy from food to stay alive. Now, these single cell animals just engulf the food so that the food is directly inside it. And then they start digesting it. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.